You open the large stone doorway and you walk through. This has been your dream since you started training, exploring the dungeon for all its loot and possible monsters. Will you survive? Hang around and we'll check out some short but addictive dungeon crawlers this week. Welcome to Indie Spotlight number 19. This week we are checking out dungeon crawlers, each designed in completely different ways. I had a lot of fun with these games. Normally dungeon crawlers are not my jam, but I really enjoyed these ones. Uh, they weren't too hard for me, which is usually a turn off for me, um, but they were short enough that I could enjoy it without involving too much and getting into it and dying constantly. This week, we even had a special guest visit uh, to help me out with some of the games, so keep an eye out for that as well. Anyways, let's get into some dungeon crawlers, eh? The first game we checked out was Power Level by Smithman C. I've popped the links down below if you'd like to check them out. This game was a lot of fun. I was drawn to this game because the premise is that you have five minutes to go through the dungeon to get level up as much as you can uh, before you um, fight a boss. Now, I don't tend to get deep into dungeon crawlers, so I felt like this was a good one to dip my toes into because I wouldn't get so invested before we got to the end and um, end up dying. Uh, I loved the battle style. It was very easy to understand and easy to learn. I loved that each time you leveled up, you got a new fighting technique. The boss was a lot of fun too and became more challenging as the battle progressed. I would love to see what happened when you beat them. I didn't quite make it there. I wasn't quite able to do that but it looks it was a lot of fun playing it anyway throughout the dungeon you get coins and I wondered a lot what you would use these coins for while I was playing it wasn't once until after I'd finished my playthrough of the game I noticed the perks pot in the main menu which takes you to a menu where you can buy more time maps all kinds of extra stuff for the dungeon run uh, so there is definitely options to play again and again and again uh so anyways let's check out power level so the first game here to check out is called power level by smithman c uh the game idea of this is it's a five yeah five minutes to randomly explore a dungeon and gear up for a boss fight uh now it's rather interesting to note though that there is no mouse in it you use your keyboard only so that's going to be interesting to see how i go with that let's check it out shall we <clears throat> need to have mine on pklr oh wow okay so your attack is j k l i and the movement is like Ooh, okay all right let's go five minutes to explore a dungeon attack Attack. 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 Oh my god, there's swordy thingies there. Okay, don't do that. Not anything in the box. There's all monies. Monies. Okay, so I don't have to press the button if I press towards it. Oh my god. Whoa. Dude, stop jumping on me. I'm gonna kill you. Thank you. Level up. Come on. Yes. I'm gonna level up. Good, good, good. Nice. Is there anything in here? Can I go into these? Apparently not. Okay. All right. Fine. Hi, Mr. Slimy. Hi, Mr. Slimy Man. What is that? Alright. <clears throat> Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, this one's a big one. Got him. I like how it's got the hearts on top of it so you can see where he is. Did he just run away from me? Alright, up. Uh, let's get up. <clears throat> oh, there's a boss. Oh no! Oh no! Boss, 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 boss,
Got him! Go me. Oh, I'm hitting two now. Sweet! I don't know how I managed to do that, but yay! It makes it so much easier. I don't know what all the coinage is for. Let's keep going up. Or another big boss. Come back, bitch. Come back, bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop jumping on me. Run away. Yeah. Alright, let's go this way. More gas. Oh! Oh! Wait, I had life? Shit. <laughs> How do I uh, level my own life up? Okay, alright, alright. Where is my life? Oh, my hearts are down the bottom. Okay, alright. So how do I get the heart? Alright, let's go across the Ooh, big boss. Got him. Come on, jump on me. Oh god. Yes. Hold space to sprint. Ah. Oh. Nice. Oh, so my love hearts go up as I level up. Right. Tools. Tools, tools. This is rather addictive, not gonna lie. Space to sprint, eh? So for each level up, you get something new. Yes. Come here, water man. This way. Oh. Yes. Get you. Yes. Right, so there was like a boss in there and it shut all the doors. I didn't notice that last time. Oh shit, balls! Does, but damn it! Okay, this one is interesting. What is that thing in the middle? Level up. Good stuff. What did I get? I think I hit two now. A power up. Attack now deals one and a half hearts. Sweet. Let's go this way. No, I think we came from that way. Let's go up. Come here, little dude. Yes. Two minutes to go. Where did we come from that way? So let's go. I feel like it should be shift, not. Yes. Yes. One minute to go. Well, one minute for you. So two minutes. It actually goes not as fast as I thought it would. I thought it'd be super fast to try to, you know, do a chest. Whoa! What the fuck did I just do? Fuck you, Mr. Dungeon Master, dude. Yeah, you get to run. Not that fast. I wonder if I get to do like certain stuff with the money. Okay. Mm. 
is an obelisk this way. I already got that one. Can we go down? No. Apparently not. But if we go this way. No. Does that take me back to the start? I think it does, yeah. This way? Yes. Four stars. Ooh. Whoa. Can I level up before the timer runs out? Apparently not. Here we go. Oh god, he's really pissed now! Oh god, he's really pissed now! Ouch! 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 Shit balls, oh my god. Oh! Oh, that was so lucky. <gasps> I died. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so my thoughts on that game. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I don't usually play a lot of dungeon, dungeon similar type things, but that was really nice and short enough that um, it was fun. Um, I'm wondering what would happen if I beat the boss. Uh, at five minutes ago, it does really, uh, does really catch my interest. Um, I was a bit lost trying to find the different thingies, but I do like how when you level up, you kind of get a new ability. So that was really good too. Um, I had a lot of fun with that one. That was great. That was uh, Power Level by Smith Mancy, and the links are down below if you want to check them out. The next game we checked out was Pencil Peril by Perudo Productions. Per, 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 per. There's a lot of peers in that one. This game really intrigued me because it was a little bit different to your normal dungeon style in that it was set on a notepad um, with a stick figure. I also found that it was a two player game, so um, I needed to have someone else, else to help me play it. Uh, hence our special guest, Clover Joe and Kane. The story is that you play as one of the characters trying to get through the dungeon while another person plays as the dungeon and they change it to kind of make you run into spikes and stuff like that. Uh, so as I said, for this one I needed two people. So I brought along two special guests. Clover Joe and Kane to sit down with me and play the game alongside. Anyways, let's check out Pencil Peril. Right. So the next game we're going to try out is Pencil <laughs> Peril and I've got a special guest with me uh, to help me with this one because it is a two-player game as we played. Um, so this is Kane. Kane. He's come to help me being the second person because as you can see on the screen, we've got someone that plays with the arrow keys and someone that plays with the WASD. So I'm going to be the person who's trying to uh, get through the game and he's going to be the one trying to stop me. So the idea of this, the premise of this one is that uh, a player controls the character who must cross the map in search of treasure. The other player controls the map itself and he is outraged at not being able to win the trophy. Should we give it a shot? Let's have a look. All right. Do we click this thing again? Yeah. So yeah. So I'm this person and you change the map around and try it. 
Okay. Ich try to get her in the spikes there. I'm trying to. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, they got the laser. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is actually harder than I anticipated. Oh, wrong way. Oh, what? <laughs> Would you like to swap over and have a try of the yeah, person? I'll give it a try. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh. oh, so close. Speed run. It's kind of like that, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna have a uh, club Joe have a go. Okay, am I the. Yeah. Oh, you're the map. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even do anything. You just ran into the spikes. It jumps harder than I thought. <laughs> oh, it takes a while for it to do it. Yeah, you gotta. The bar's gotta load up. <clears throat> oh, I just helped him. <laughs> you almost got near the end though. Did you see there was a yellow circle you had to get to? Further than I've ever got. Further than I've ever got. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what chill, chill, chill. Way. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck off. There we go. That was bad luck. <laughs> Watch, I don't have to do anything. She'll just kill herself. Shut up. No, wait, I can do it. <coughs> Luck there. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Holy crap! Did you just realize there's those drawings in the background? You see them? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's gonna move me towards it. That sun looks mad. <laughs> okay, so certain things won't work when it's uh, moving oh, around. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. <laughs> so, before you go though, would you like to share your thoughts on it? Um, it's it's fun. Been, yeah, it's fun. Fun? Yeah, yeah. it's annoying too because <laughs> you're like... I want to get somewhere and then that like, wee turns it. <laughs> I really liked it. I I um I feel like it's a really uh it oh, makes no, it reminds me of a uh, stick figure. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, a stick figure, the game stick figure where you fight against your friends and stuff. The idea is very simple, um, but very effective uh, and challenging too. It's rather challenging. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I struggled quite a bit just to get through the, you know, you saw the first level was uh, rather um, challenging, but good fun. Definitely worth it. It was called Pencil Peril by by Perudo Productions. But thank you for letting me play that. You can go check out the links below. The last game we checked out was Beatdown Dungeon Demon Day by Phil Airdash. This game was a lot of fun. It reminded me of Street Fighter or Tekken with some Persona visual novel style. The premise is that you're in the otherworldly place of C San Fiasco and the queen of the underworld has decided that you need to be taken out by her minions. 
This is the second one in a series of games, but the game does give you a quick rundown about what happened at the beginning. So if you haven't played the first one, you can still play the second one without any uh, concern. Um, it is just a demo though, so you need to purchase the game if you want to go through the whole game. It really is a lot of fun and very easy to understand how to do things. It definitely makes it really clear on how to do particular moves and stuff. Even at one point I had to uh, block 10 times to be able to get some coins to be able to go and move on to the next section of the level. So I feel like as you go further through, they'll teach you different techniques to be able to uh, move along. Anyways, let's go check out Beatdown Dungeon Demon Day. So this one is a, a demo uh, game, a demo dungeon game. It can be two players, a fast paced mix of RPG and 2 BD fighting returns in Beat Day Dungeon. De beat Down Dungeon Demon Day. Uh, now, after the events of the first game, Nitro's friends are stuck in the demon world and have to fight their way through the otherworldly town of San Fiasco. The game is by Bill Air Dash. Now this is just a demo, so let's uh... Oh, I press enter, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Shit. Game settings. Hello? Enter usually, you know, it right. Okay. Okay, so we press J, okay. I'm gonna put the headphones on so I can hear. <coughs> What's going on? Episode 2, Demon Day. Story so far. The Demon Queen, ruler of the underworld, was bored one day because her Wi-Fi wasn't working. To amuse herself, she prepared four dungeons in the demon world and dared humanity to send his champions to fight monsters residing inside. If humanity did not comply, she dared destroy the earth, although later turned out to be an empty threat. Just a prank, in her own words. Several individuals rose to the occasion and fought through what would come known as Beatdown Dungeon Game. In the end, this group of heroes overcome the trials and bested the Queen in battle, thanks to no small part in their de facto leader, Nitro. And bidding defeat, the Queen, Demon Queen invited them to celebrate with drinks and food and drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks. It's now on to the next noon, and our stories continue. I like the art style, it looks cool. Zzzz, yay. Power, I love how Sundays exist. Just gotta carefully walk past the gentleman sleeping on a park bench. And wait a second, I've never seen this guy before. Um, excuse me, sir, hello. Ugh, what? Yeah, I'm awake, I swear. You know, it's dangerous to sleep on a park bench like that. Especially in the demon world. Demon world? All oh, right, I never went back home to the human realm yesterday. Wait a second, I recognize you. You were the way you the bar yesterday, weren't you? That's right, I'm Torrid. I work the night shift at Hangover Hall. And you're quite the lucrative customer. I can tell my head is spinning like five different directions simultaneously. I mean, you're literally drinking alcohol from hell. It's hardly surprised you're in this condition, sir. By the way, you weren't accompanied by your friends. I'm surprised they'd leave you like this. No, they didn't leave me. I think we split up at some point, but that's the last thing I remember after this. It's complete hard, wipe, hard drive wipe. I don't mean to worry you, sir, but San Fiasco is not a safe place to get lost in, especially not as a human. Might I suggest finding out the whereabouts of your companions and leaving the demon world? You're right. I hope they didn't get themselves into trouble. But... First, you need to cut out that sir business. Call me Nitro. I hope that I haven't made the absolute worst first impression. Tee, don't worry. I behind, work behind a counter. I've seen many worse. Anyway, I was about to get some coffee at a cafe nearby. You want to come along? It's a pretty popular place. I was running to one of your friends there. Well, I was smart enough not to write down their phone numbers yesterday. So I suppose this is a good plan as any. Plus, I could really do some caffeine right now. All right, we just need to stroll through Azizel Alley. Azizel Alley. And by the way, they also smell, sell migraine medication. Onwards! Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's like Tekken. That's cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. Ow, you bastard. Ow, please. 
Stop hitting me, I don't like it. Mr. Toothman or whatever the fuck you are. Yeah. This is cool. Did someone order fried tofu? Oh, it was tofu. Of course it was. God damn it. Can I jump? Yes. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. Did I once? Uh, yeah, I heard that the first time. It was funny the first time, it wasn't the next. Ah! Counter me. Oh, you bastard. Stop fucking hitting me. Don't like it. Get away. This dude is much harder. Hey, get your butt here and let me hit you. Ow. Not cool. Fuck off. Fuck off. Ow, bitch. I'll turn these guys into cream brulee. box of you. What's this? Oh, I found a cake. Oh, I found a muffin. Am I supposed to go to Kebab Kili? Oh. Cool. Okay, alright. Oh, cool. Okay. Pause. Oh, yeah. Let's see what she can do. I like it. I like the art style. Go. That's cool. Ow, you bastard. Yay. I get why it's RPG now. Those trophies are super fast. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, not cool, dude. Not cool, mate. Oh my god, it said Tofu Man in the corner. I didn't even see that. I'm such a goose. Green Brulee's got me. I don't know why they're food pieces. That makes no sense to me. Oh, you fucking bastard. She's like, don't touch me. Oh, bastard. She runs away. She doesn't block. She runs away. She obviously doesn't block. Stop fucking touching me, man. I don't like it. Stop it. Ooh. See you, Mum. See you later. See you. Ooh. What does that do?
Yeah, baby. <clears throat> so I get a challenge and I get some coins? Yes. So now I go see this dude. This is a snakey like thing. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, you son of a bitch! Fuck you, mate! Hey! I don't like it! Fuck you, mate! Fuck you, fucking bullshit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck, he's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! Got him. Woo! Fuck, this thing's too level two one. Oh. oh no, I don't have health up. Such a dickhead. What was the fireball again? Burn ball, special. How do I do it? I'm gonna die. Fuck you, mate. Fuck you right on the ass. All right, so my thoughts on the game. <coughs> I really liked it. I like the idea, it kind of kind of reminded me a bit of Persona, but in a more anime cartoon type. I mean, I know Persona isn't a cartoon, but like, it was a little bit different, but still kind of the same sort of, you know, the, the words and the um, visual novel and then the fightings and stuff. <clears throat> but I really enjoyed that. 
Uh, that's Beatdown Dungeon Demon Day by Phil Airdash. I'll pop the links down below if you want to give them a follow as well. I've never thought about dungeon style games before this uh, spotlight and I really wanted to do something that I hadn't actually experienced before. And I'm really glad I did. These games were a lot of fun to play. I probably won't be playing a lot of dungeon games in the future, but it was really good to get a new look on something that I didn't know a lot about beforehand. What was your favourite one of this week? My favourite of the week had to be Pencil Peril. It was a lot of fun to play against each other side by side. It really gave that like couch feel that you get back in the nostalgia days. It's really hard for me to pick a favourite because they all really had their own perks in their own way. They all had their own, diff like they were so completely different from each other. So they were all really a lot of fun to play. But what was your favourite one this week? Be certain to check out the Twitter list on my Twitter page, uh, which has all of the developers from this week, along with some from previous Indie Spotlight videos. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the other Indie Spotlights that come out in the future. I hope you have a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.